Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be making a zero dollar budget pen pal letter. Um, so I've actually been collecting things for a while now. So I've been going through any of the junk mail that I've received and I've cut out like images that I've really liked. I also went to the Queensland Information Centre, so they have a lot of like tourist brochures. So I actually cut out a few things from the brochures that I thought I could use. I also have collected, like anytime I've bought a piece of writing, I've collected like the tags that I've liked. And then the funniest one was Dan and I ordered pizza one night and I saw a stamp on the top of the pizza box that I really like. So <laughs> I actually cut out a hole out of the top of the pizza box. Um, but I found some really cool things that were like zero budget. So these are just things that um, I thought I would keep and make a video about. A lot of you guys asked me to make this video. I've made two, I think, in the past. So I'll have them linked either in the description section or on screen um, because, yeah, if you're starting to build up your collection, it's fun to just get crafty and creative with lots of things that you can find. So any of the tools that I'm using, like pencils and rulers and scissors and tapes, these are things that you can generally find in most houses um, or you can find office um, if like your parent or if you work in an office um, so things that maybe you could borrow but generally I'm trying to use just like the basics <laughs> other than things that I've found as I said for free so the first thing I'm doing is I'm actually making a envelope out of a map so again you can find maps at your local tourist information centers most countries I've been to have free brochures. Um, so I don't know if all countries do, but definitely the ones that I've been to, you can get some free brochures or even at the um, travel agencies, they actually give them out. Um, and I also have cut out of things out of um, the junk mail that is like promoting the elections and things like that. I don't know, I found some fun ones in there. So it can be really interesting what you find in junk mail. And I actually got a lot of things that kind of reminded me of travel. So that's the direction I took this letter today. When I first started, I was like, oh, I have no idea what I'm going to make. I'll just start with the envelope. I'll start designing and we'll see where we'll go. But I really like that I've got like this trunk and lots of things just reminded me of travel. So I thought I would go down that path. Um, but I also thought like I actually walked past my bookshop. Um, well, not my bookshop, but my local bookshop. And they had a flyer out the front. So I thought you could definitely do like a book theme or I know like Myers and things like that. And Davy Jones, they have flat flyers and brochures so you could do like a fashion one as well so there's definitely different themes you could do with um free like free mail <laughs> making things out of um found like objects or brochures so the next thing i wanted to do is i wanted to figure out how to make some sort of like flip book um, without actually using any stationary products. So I thought it would be fun to just get a normal piece of paper. There's nothing special about this. It's literally straight out of my printer um, and see what I could make from it. So I decided to fold it in thirds. And this is usually how I start a lot of my flip books. And then as you see, um, as I like start to scrapbook, um, not scrapbook, sorry, as I start to collage, I slowly make kind of like a zine, <laughs> but you'll see that in a second. Um, I got some string, I, I the string was actually way too big, and like uh, one of these, I don't even know what you call them, just like a poker, I used it for when I was making junk journals, um, but anything that you can poke a hole with, so, and then all you do is cut out triangles, thread it through the string, and then you can make your own little tiny bunting. So I thought that you could do that with anything like newspapers, you can cut out the little flags, like any, like I said, brochures or 
junk mail and then all you need to do is poke holes make little triangles and then stick them down so I thought that would be a really fun craft for you to include and if you do have some really nice papers if you're not doing the zero um, dollar budget if you actually have some really cute floral papers it would look really nice as well um, so yeah I decided to kind of make a zine so if you don't know what a zine is, it basically just means like a little magazine. So take the zine off and you've got just like a little brochure. Well, not even a brochure. It's just like a little magazine that you um, create and you can talk about anything. So it's kind of like a little comic, you could say. Um, I actually wrote about books that I wanted and then also I put some... Um, places that I've been to in my little zine. So in the letter I'll explain what I've made. It's kind of actually just like a little flip book but if you want to look up some fun ideas for pen paling you should actually look up zines and you can make your own ones. They can be like drawn images inside or you can do like lists and things like that. Um, but yeah they're a lot of fun. <laughs> I actually have made a video um, and it's called... I don't know what I called it actually. I think it's Australian Zine. And I have, yeah, done a whole tutorial. So go check that one out on my channel. So later in this video, I'll actually use some watercolours. And the reason I included this in a zero dollar budget challenge is because you don't actually have to have watercolours to make some colourful paper. Um, I've actually watched a few videos where you can make your own like watercolors or paints out of natural materials. So if you are actually on a really tight budget and you want to get creative, um, I would say YouTube some videos where they show you how to make like your own paints or palettes um, using natural materials. Now this isn't for everyone. <laughs> Not everyone can have access to the um, natural elements that you can actually make paints out of but if you wanted to get that little bit more crafty I thought I'll just put that idea out there in case someone wanted to try it. So I have an announcement that I actually wanted to tell you guys about. I'm so excited about this. I qualified for a YouTube shop. Now this month I'm releasing a Light Academia um, stationery collection. So I'll be releasing my normal sticker sheets and postcards, sticker flakes and maybe some washi tape as well for this collection on my own Etsy shop. But I thought it'd be so much fun to open a YouTube shop since I qualify for it. And there's like drink bottles and mugs and backpacks. The backpacks are so cute and there's also like drawstring bags. So if you want to go check out my YouTube shop, you can just go to my channel and then you'll scroll across across the tabs at the top. Um, and then, yeah, one of the tabs now say store. <laughs> so let me know in the comments if you do check out the shop. I know it, um, not everyone can afford the items or would want to buy them, but I thought I'll just let you guys know since I've recently just launched it. And it's part of my Light Academia collection. So this is my favorite collection that I've created so far and yeah I just thought I'd let you guys know so let me know in the comments if you do check it out and let me know what you think of the products I would love to know. When I first created this channel I used to ask you guys to give me snail mail theme suggestions in the comments. Each week I would read through your comments and then I would take a screenshot of my favourite theme. Then I would announce the person who suggested that snail mail theme and then I would send the letter to them because they're the one who suggested it. And I really want to bring this like little giveaway back because I absolutely loved doing it. And whoever suggested it had a lot of fun watching the next video knowing that the letter would come to them. In the comment section, all you need to do is add one theme. Now, please don't add multiple themes because some people started doing this. They would just list as many as they could think of off the top of their head. And then if I liked one of their themes, obviously I would choose them. Um, but to make it fair, just only list one theme that you would really love to receive in the mail 
and if I choose your, your theme then I'll send it to you. Um, so yeah, I thought this would be a lot of fun and then it's also a way of me like giving back each week because I do make a lot of snail mail and I actually stopped receiving pen pal letters about a year ago. I stopped replying back um, to a lot of people who I'd been writing to for years and I'd stop accepting new pen pals. So at the moment, I've just been making a lot of pen pal letters and then kind of just like storing them. <laughs> so I've either been just like creating them and then putting them in my journals or creating them and giving them away at like giveaway times. But it'd be nice to actually have a like a purpose, like actually doing them and then sending them to someone straight away rather than just keeping them until I find someone that I want to give it to. So yeah, let me know in the comments what theme do you want me to make and if I like it, I'll send it to you. It would also be great if you guys can tell me in the comments um, like what other videos you want to see other than snail mail tutorials. I really like doing challenges and I am going to be doing another challenge with my sister soon. So once my exams are done, I will start doing that again. But our timetables just have not aligned since we've both been in exam period for a while now. So the next thing I wanted to do was create some letter writing paper. Um, so I usually buy a lot of my letter writing paper and I've never tried to attempt to make my own. So I kind of just cut out like this wavy pattern around the edge and then I doodled all over it. So I did some lines and I did a big deer. My handwriting is so terrible and I remember in one of my earlier videos a lot of people wrote in the comments that they did not like their handwriting and that was one of the main reasons they didn't want to start pen palling. Please don't let your handwriting be the reason why you don't start pen palling. It is a really fun hobby and you can type things out like if you really don't want to be handwriting. Um, I used to type things out sometimes when I just was really exhausted and I didn't want to focus on my handwriting because <laughs> it would take me a while to write a letter. I also got a typewriter so that made it a lot easier and I'm also very dyslexic. <laughs> um, so I would usually type out when I wanted to write first and then I would write it down if I was going to handwrite the letter. Um, so yeah, this is my little letter today and then I also wanted to make a really cute paper clip. So all I did was just cut out some of the little koalas on this kawaii packaging and then I just stuck it onto a paper clip on both sides and I thought that was really cute. So this is the letter today. I hope you got a lot of good ideas and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!